how to make a birch tree effect on your cake. This is an American buttercream cake that I have chilled in the refrigerator for a few hours. The bride-to-be asked that their initials be carved into the cake, so I'm using a fondant cutting tool to do that. I'm using brown food coloring mixed with a little bit of vodka to paint in the lines. Although this is sped up, it's a slow process and I'm constantly changing the angle of my brush so that it matches the lines I've carved. I made a little mistake which I'm just gently scraping away with an X-Acto knife. To put the bark effect on the cake, I have one wider brush and one smaller brush. I added some more vodka to the food coloring to make it a thinner and lighter color. And now I spin the cake board holding the brush and gently letting it hit against the sides of the cake as I move it up and down but keeping it steady in one spot. Oops, a little bit drip so I'm just going to wipe that up with some paper towel, no big deal. I find that spinning the cake and letting it do the work helps you achieve much straighter lines than if you tried to hand paint them straight yourself. I dipped a smaller brush in undiluted food coloring and now I'm painting on the eyes that birch and aspen trees are so well known for. They don't need to be perfect as no tree is exactly perfect and it's a little bit more of an abstract look that we're going for. I feel like the cake could use a little more texture and depth so I'm adding some darker lines to go along with the lighter brown ones we added. Eventually I'm happy with the balance of the texture on the cake and I feel like it's done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please follow for more.